Charlie Werner. I don't know if this guy should make the team. They're going to need four wide, four tight ends. Uh, of course, they're going to keep George Kittle and Ross Dwelly. But then after him, I feel like – I mean, he, he's the blocking specialist, right? And he's okay as a blocker. But they also have Michael Pruitt, who's a blocking specialist. And I, I filmed the one-on-one today. You can see Michael Pruitt, I mean, he's not the most – you know, he doesn't have the most finesse in the world running routes, but he got open and made a nice catch downfield in one-on-ones. And he also made a nice catch in 11-on-11s 11 for whoever, for anyone who was there. I'm sure you saw it. It was on third down. He caught it from Lance. From Lance. Not easy to catch those. But I think he's a pretty good receiver for a blocking specialist backup. Werner is terrible as a receiver. Now, he's he'll, he'll, he made that catch in, in the game last week when the guy fell down. But if you watch the one-on-ones today, he can't beat man-to-man coverage if the guy doesn't fall down. And then if it's a contested catch, he's not Ross Dwelly. His hands aren't that great. So I just don't see why you keep him. If you have Michael Pruitt, who is a better blocking tight end, older, but better. And then if you want, like you could keep Werner as the fourth guy, but as a fourth tight end, I'd like someone who's more of a receiving specialist. And Jordan Matthews is a hell of a receiver as a tight end. Like in the one-on-ones, no one can stop him. Safeties and linebackers can't cover Jordan Matthews at all. He's a former wide receiver who still moves like one. And uh, he's a much bigger matchup problem as a tight end. So I think the Niners should keep Matthews and Pruitt along with Dwelly and Kittle. And that Warner should be the odd man out. I'm not a fan. I thought uh, Caden Smith, like the same guy, you know, decent enough blocker who can't catch, like just keep another offensive lineman. That's how I feel. I don't think Charlie Warner's worth a uh, roster spot. Maybe you guys disagree. William says, did you talk to Brandon Staley and do you have any thoughts on how he compares to Shanahan? I haven't talked to Brandon Staley yet. But it's weird to think how quickly he's risen up. I mean, he was he was at places like John Carroll recently. And then he went for a few years, uh, coached with John Fox and Vic Fangio. And now he's a head coach. It happened fast. 38 years old. Been in the NFL like four years. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. I haven't heard him yet. Jamaican boy says, you think Trey is making note of how Kittle is pushing for Jimmy to stay at QB1 and subliminally dissing Trey as the future on social media? Yeah, I don't get that. That's super weird. And I got to, you know, I, I I got to blame Kyle Shanahan for that one. I know he has his reasons to keep Jimmy, but this is what you're creating. A divided locker room is natural. You know, I mean, you asked George Kittle and Kyle Juszczyk and all these guys so many times to go in front of the media and go to bat for Jimmy. And they did. And they meant it. And he's their friend. And then you made him look dumb by trading for Trey Lance. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think Trey is taking note. And it must be a very weird thing. You get drafted to replace some guy, but they won't get rid of him. And a lot of people still like him. That's weird. Isn't that weird? Imagine you get hired somewhere, right? You, you get hired and someone, they give you a lot of money. But the person you're replacing they don't get rid of them yet because you don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> but they're still giving you like 500K a year. You don't know what you're doing. The old guy's there. He sucks at his job, but he has experience and they keep him there. And he's also really well liked in the office. <laughs> That's a terrible situation, right? Everyone's like, hey, Jimmy, we feel bad for you. It's a tough situation. We like you, Jimmy. It's like, dude, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't choose to come here. They pick me because this guy throws a million interceptions every day. But I feel you. He's a good story. Sympathetic figure. Curtis says, Bill Hunter, is that Jimmy's burner account? You know he like a mature like Kiara Mia. I always thought that was like a, a dare. I don't think he – I think he got set up. I think he got set up on that one. That was embarrassing. <laughs>